Welcome everybody to virtual IATC. It's great to see everyone's faces on the screen. Great to see groups of you there together at your dojos. Next year, we'll all be together. This is a time of remembering. We all have different memories of Grandmaster Quinn. We're all at different places in our grieving on our path to acceptance of this great loss. Some of us are still looking back with disbelief. How can he be gone? Grandmaster Quinn himself was not one for looking backwards. He was a man of action, all about looking ahead. He'd advise us not to let the past bring us down, but to keep moving forward. But remembering isn't the same as looking backward. Our past is our foundation. Our memories are inspiration. I have memories of Grandmaster Quinn all the way back from when he was a teenager. Lately, my favorite memories are of Grandmaster Quinn Training with kids at IATC or at the West Coast Training Camp. Please indulge me in a brief slideshow. Yeah. Okay, so this is a time of remembering and I want it to be a time of remembering what brings us together. Last year, in his introduction to the virtual training camp, Grandmaster Quinn spoke of the journey, how important it was to enjoy the journey, not to let that joy be lost on focusing on an end point or a goal like black belt or whatever your next test is. Enjoy the journey itself the friends you make, the special experiences you have along the way. That journey is what brought us all together, the martial arts journey. At some point, each of us discovered we had a passion for training. We discovered the martial art Kung Nu that brings seven different approaches into harmony to make each one stronger. We discovered each other, different people with different points of view, all made stronger by our shared interests. Take a moment right now to remember the first time you discovered martial arts and realized it was something you wanted to try. How about the first time you walked into a dojo, the excitement you felt? The first time you put on a uniform and a belt, the first time you passed the belt test. Your first teacher, remember training so hard, it hurt, and doing a skill you thought you could never do. Your first board breaks, Remember, if you can, the first time you went to the big training camp like IATC, where you had to find a place in a long line of people, many of them strangers on that first day. You were nervous and excited and weren't sure what would come. By the last day, these strangers were lifelong friends. Remember the people you see only once a year, but every time it's as though we're your family. We can talk about anything because we all know what it means to share the journey to train hard, to teach, 
to care about our students, to keep training hard. Remember the people you don't see any longer because their journey diverged from the martial arts or because they've passed away. Their light is still with us. When I say that, I'm thinking of something Alexander Noe expressed recently in his Sandown paper. He spoke of the journey as being like ships sailing with a lighthouse, beaming energy to show us the way until one day. Until one day the light was extinguished suddenly, unfathomably, and out of our control. Grandmaster Quinn was a lighthouse to all of us. The, light, the lighthouse may have gone dark, but the light is still with us. We remember it when we go forward. Now, everybody, please stand. Let's call up one more memory the Grandmaster Quinn lining us all up and calling out the count as we begin training camp with Taiki Oak with the first form. All ranks and all ages performing together, moving one step per count. Ready? E! Top! That's what it's all about, practicing together, training hard. Uh, thanks to Sanjay Todd Maroney from Cypress Dojo for the beautiful idea of remembering Grandmaster Quinn in this way. Now, for more recognition, many outstanding martial artists were promoted over the last two years and didn't have a chance to stand and be applauded at IATC. We're going to honor them now with a video presentation put together by Sensei Smack. Not everybody may have gotten their photos and videos to Smack in time, or they may not have had great shots to share. But for everybody now, you can be recognized as a, a page on our new website. Uh, you can check it out later. And the, the last thing is um, uh, Master uh, Denise Guerin, who's promoted to Rokodan. Now, master level uh, this afternoon in Jacksonville, Florida. And I uh, want to welcome her to the master ranks. Well deserved. It was uh, Grandmaster Quinn's intention to promote her, and that didn't work out, but. Uh, Master Jessica Noe was able to present her with the belt, and I, I think that was pretty meaningful all the way around. So here we go with the video.
announcement? Or did you have uh, something else you wanted to say? No, that was, congratulations to everybody that was promoted in the last two years. Well done. Keep working if you're still partially uh, in line for promotion, doing parts of your test. Speak from here so we don't get feedback on the microphone. Uh, quick technical announcement. Tomorrow morning, the six channels are going to open at what's known as 6 a.m. out here on the West Coast. Uh, no intro. It's going to go right into the classes. So uh, instructors show up a couple minutes early, be ready to go. Participants, by the way, we have something like 250 people registered, which is awesome. Awesome. Uh, crowd into those classes tomorrow morning, starting at six. Um, make sure you've installed the latest Zoom updates. For this evening, um, there are going to be some breakout rooms for socializing so people can go talk to each other in a number of different places. Uh, one of them will be, it's called Old Time Video Theater and I have some uh, old clips of Grandmaster Quinn from the days of yore, including uh, what I'm told was the original and first self-defense demo that led to all the rest of us doing self-defense demos over the years. Um, and I'm going to open those breakout rooms. They're set up so that you can move yourself uh, into and out of whatever room you like. If you have technical problems with that, you can message the host and ask them to move you to a room. Uh, those will be open, but before you go there, uh, there's a scheduled meeting of the membership of the Kung Nu Martial Arts Association. And I thought if the uh, members of the board of directors would raise their Zoom hands, I could uh, spotlight them for everyone for a moment or for <laughs> drinks in the <laughs> I'll set up, I'm gonna set up a one that's called Joe Schachter's room. In fact, I was going to do that, and then I thought, oh, no, Joe uh, might not like that, but I see that he is eager to have that. So um, anyway, if I'm going to spotlight the board members. And shall I read this membership meeting thing at this same time? Uh, or uh, well, that's that's up to you to bring the meeting supporter or have the uh, yeah, okay. Um, so the breakout rooms, it, basically it's about a membership meeting. Everybody gets the vote on the new bylaws. Um, so I'll read this and then uh, you can go take off to the breakout rooms. Uh, get all weekend to vote to approve the proposed bylaws or not. So. On April 26, 2022, uh, CNMA Association Board adopted a resolution approving amended and restated bylaws for the Kung Nu Martial Arts Association, CNMAA, be presented to the membership for approval as provided in the association's articles of incorporation. Uh, CNMAA membership meeting is being held now. So, um, and we'll open the voting on the matter that will be through the web page. Um, it will be carried out through the online membership system as will be explained further and uh, with a follow-up email I think everybody should have gotten already. The online ballot will be amended. We'll the online ballot will present only one item, a vote to approve or disapprove the proposed amended and restated bylaws. Okay, so voting will open soon. Uh, the membership meeting's open now and it'll, it'll last uh, through uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. 
that'll give uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. It'll allow members plenty of time to review the documents and to vote. Um, the full board of directors rec recommends a vote to approve the amended and restated bylaws. Uh, bylaws currently in effect and the proposed amended bylaws are both available to review at a link that everybody got. Uh, okay, just a little background because the Kungu nonprofit board of directors has not been fully active for more than 20 years, some background might be helpful. The CNMAA, formerly CNOMAA, was formed to provide administrative and financial support to the martial arts style of Kung Nu. Its schools and instructors, and uh, the purpose was to help spread and grow the style while joining all the schools in a cohesive association. This was done to this was to be done by providing assistant, assistance and encouragement to the schools and instructors, certifying black belts, fan ranks, promotions, disseminating training materials, and funding the annual training camp, as well as raising and dispersing funds for those and other projects deemed helpful to the style and membership. The association bylaws were created well before there was such a thing as a web presence, social media, and online membership management. The most recent amendment to the bylaws was approved in 1998. The current board found the 98 bylaws needed updating and refreshing in terms of clear contemporary and gender neutral language and provisions for the use of modern tools for meeting and communication. Further, the bylaws needed flexibility to allow the board to define and take on new projects as the needs of membership evolve. To that end, the proposed amended bylaws direct the board to create and maintain pol a policies and procedures manual separate from the bylaws to detail both the day-to-day -day workings of the association and the special projects as are conceived and carried out. We'll find most of the proposed amendments to the bylaws address one of the needs described above. In addition, the proposed Amended bylaws clarify a relationship between the nonprofit association, whose purpose is administrative, and fundraising support for the style in the Kungu martial arts style, which is as a martial arts style is governed separately by its head of styles, the masters, heads of schools, and black belts. We'll find some new sections in the proposed bylaws that specifically address this relationship. The CNMA board. Working hard through a series of Zoom meetings starting last fall, arrived at a draft set of amended bylaws, which were made available to the membership for review. We thank everybody who took time to read and comment on that version, whether you sent detailed comments or just the looks good. The board subsequently revisited the first approved draft, giving careful consideration to each suggestion received. Membership suggestions were extremely valuable in helping us catch oversights, clarify language, and in some cases make significant changes to the document. In addition, some valuable suggestions were not adopted simply because they did not fall under the purview of the nonprofit association, but rather pertain to the leadership of martial arts style and should be addressed there in that context. Again, we thank the membership for the partic participation in this project. We encourage attendance at uh, a meeting, you can go to, uh, I think there'll be a breakout room if you want to ask questions to any of the board members who are Kirk Barber, Alan Haas, Elizabeth Roman, Jessica No, Donald Williams, Darius Jones, Masters All, and Sensei's Tanner Kruitz, Angel Albanese, Danny Krause. All right, so the meeting will stay open till Monday. You can vote till then. On the bylaws, there's questions. Uh, ask us in the breakout rooms. I'll answer. Other people answer. Did it? Did anyone want to say anything that's on the board? Make any comments? All right. Cool. All right. I'll we'll see you. At, uh, watch watch the videos. He's uh, it's like Grandmaster Quinn looks like he's 18 or 17 in that. Some of those things, those demos, it's quite intriguing.
Uh, Master Elizabeth, you want to say something? I was just going to say, you know, as the board of directors, uh, we work for the membership. So if there's any concerns or anything anyone wants to ever bring up, you can reach out to any of the board members. You can reach out to um, Grandmaster John directly or, uh, again, any one of us. That's it. Cool. Uh, Kurt? I, what I want to say was we we as a board spent a lot of time. We took uh, a lot of comments from people. We didn't look at this very lightly. We know that this is uh, something that was very important, not only for the style now, but for the legacy of the style in the future. So I'm hoping all the members there know that we've done a lot of the homework for you to go through all this and know that that thing is not something that we were taking lightly. So please consider that the board, that was a phone going off, please consider that the board or the current board right now did spend a lot of time going through this and we were quite aware of what people thought, what people said, and we were very serious taking the time, probably at least three to five different meetings, two to three hours each time. So thank you. Uh, Angel? Hands up. <laughs> oh no, they raised their hands so I could find them. Oh. <laughs> to spot. Oh, I thought you wanted to talk. Anyone else want to say something? Jump up and down in your box. <laughs> oh, oh, Kirk, that was very good. Spontaneous. Yeah, I was wondering why I was signaled out, you know, but I didn't mind talking. <laughs> but yeah, no. Right. The hand up. I thought, I thought you raised your hand, but I was mistaken. <laughs> that was from right, Not Look now. Why? Cool. All right, ask. Uh, like the, the Master John, I'd like to just say to all the board members working right now, thank you so much for all your hard work. Sure, you're welcome. Um, so let's hit the breakout rooms and uh, see what's going on with everybody. Look at those videos. Great, Master John. Yes. Okay. Sensei Frank Ang for the special. Ceremony this Ceremony. evening to do in honor of Grandmaster Quinn. And we were going to do it separately here, but maybe everyone would like to see that. It's going to take about two or three minutes. Is that? Yeah. Okay, but there's only 12 people on this channel now, I think. Or maybe 48, I don't know. 48. This is hard. Go ahead. We're going to the breakout Um. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Everybody can watch. I, I can figure out the breakout room now. Yeah, speak loud. Speak for me loud.
Okay, I think Frank is going to explain the significance of the ceremony. So, why don't all the children sit down? Yeah. Speak loud. Okay, uh, mainly uh, what we're doing here is a ceremony uh, for people that are no longer with us or passed away. And uh, while the honor, the sense of uh, honor, Grandmaster Bell, and the uh, bowing and the incense is, 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 is the sudden uh, showing your, 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 your you know, you know, you know, you know, it's to speak for yourself, like you're praying to an old sensei Quinn, I mean, uh, uh, Grandmaster Quinn, in your prayer that you send to the spirit. But when you do it with three bowels, you're showing a, a respect. Go ahead. So, you know, this is the honor. <clears throat> The people that are no longer with us. So, thank you so much. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Okay, thanks.